Monica, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I have been so impressed by. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I think probably the last time I've been to a, a nail salon has to have been the end of February. It was right before I went to our convention, which was the beginning of March. Since that time, you know, at one point I went through the process of pulling off my my um, powder dip nails, and then I tried to file my nails, let my nails get healthy, and for a long time I've had absolutely no no polish on my nails, nothing but your solo oil that you can rub into your nails to try to make them a little bit more healthy. So I had bought a bottle of that and I just was rubbing it into my nails regularly, but my nails always looked like crap and they still kind of do. But I went through this whole thing of buying all these different polishes, everything to try to make my nails look halfway decent. I would put on polish, I would put on a base coat, I would put on a top coat, I'd let them dry. And the next morning, they'd be peeling off, um, they'd be flaking, it didn't matter what brand I used. And I mean, I'm gonna superimpose a photo here just so you can see how many polishes. Now, I didn't buy all of these this year. Some of them I did have before, but the majority of my polishes have been OPI. And I've always liked OPI, I've liked their color range, but without having, you know, the fake nails or the salon treatment, it didn't matter what I was paying for the nail polish. It always, it always peeled off. Orle, I love this color. I wear this on my feet all the time. But um, O-R-L-Y, Orle Breathable, I have a number of these. I have a number of the China Glaze bottles that I bought. Salon preferences. I have all sorts of top coats. You you, you, I think you get the drill, right? I've got a ton of nail polishes. I had, and I, I talked about this in a previous video, I had decided that I was going to try the Sally Hansen. It's a two-step process. It's a gel polish. You don't need the lamp to cure the polish. I wanted to see how it, was, how it would last. And they had said on their, all their information was that it could last up to seven days. And I was like, well, I can't even get a regular home you know, when I do it myself, polish to last more than a day, day and a half. So I was very skeptical and I had also heard some people it didn't work for and I know all of our nails are different and what might work for me may not work for you or vice versa. Um, but I said, well, I'm gonna give it a try. So I went into Ulta and I bought the, it comes, it's like a two step thing. So I bought step one and I bought step two, which was the finish. I figured I would try it, so I put it on, and I'm going to show you a picture of what it looked like. I actually liked it, although I wasn't really gung-ho about the color so much, but I actually liked how it looked, and I couldn't believe how strong, when it dried, that it made my nails feel, and how comfortable it felt. Well, they lasted. I took them off on day six. And I took them off because you could see the ends were splitting a little bit. The polish was starting to wear off on the nail tips. And, but mostly I was, I wanted to try a different color. So I had gone to my local Walgreens and Walgreens oftentimes has some really good sales and I have points and all that. Well, they had a sale on it. Yeah. So I bought a couple of bottles. I bought this pretty blue, which I haven't used yet, but I have bought, I have used the pinks, which I have on my nails right now. And the ones that I have on my nails at the time of filming is day five. I mean, unbelievable. I'll probably take them off tonight and I'll probably put on maybe the blue or maybe a different color, I'm not too sure. What you do is you get to make sure that you have no oils, no residue. So I normally will take what I'm gonna, what, my, what I've done is I take my polish off at night and then I put the solar oil on. I leave my nails bare all night long until the next day. So depending on if it's a weekend, which is my preference, I make sure that I wipe it all down. I, I go over with the polish remover again just to make sure there's no oil buildup or any soap or anything. And then I dry my hands really good and then I do the step number one, whatever color it is. 
I put it on my nails very carefully and I wait five minutes. So I wait five minutes, then I put the second coat on. So I do two coats and I do, you know, I'll do one hand and then very carefully do the other hand, time it, go back to my second coat, back to my second coat on this and then I wait five minutes again. And then I do the step number two, which is their clear top coat. And, uh, and I put this on pretty thick. I'm not skimpy on it at all. And cover my nail really good. Make sure that I get to the tip of the nail because that's where most of my wear is. And I'll tell you, it dries pretty quick and it is unbelievable. It's unbelievable how long this has actually lasted on me. I'm so, so super impressed. So I wanted to share that with you because this is the first time an at-home nail polish has worked like this for me. Normally, like I said, it's it's even my OPI, which is expensive as well. Um, you know, a day, maybe a day and a half. If I could get two days out of nail polish, I was thrilled. Never mind five, six. I'm like, holy mackerel. So I wanted to share that with you because it is a great buy. And if you're like me, you're just not getting into the nail salons and you're probably experimenting and you might be spending a lot of money on stuff that isn't working. So I was really thrilled with that. The other thing I wanted to share with you, and this was from Octoly, if this is going to pick it up. Well, this is PMD Clean and it is a smart facial cleansing device. And I never expected to, this to be this much fun. So they, they send this to you with a battery. You unwrap the battery, you put it in, and you can stand it up on your vanity or whatever like this flat. But when you put it in, it does, it, it's like really cool. I don't know if you can feel that. But it's got several, it's got four, four different modes. So the way you do this, the way you do work this, you wet your skin, you wet the device, and then you put the cleanser on the device, whatever your cleanser of choice is on the device, and then you turn it on, and depending on the first mode or the second mode, it has a cleansing mode, a vibration, and you can just awesomely cleanse your skin with this. And when you're done cleansing, rinse it back off. Then you can put on a different mode, and you can actually put on your, your creams or your serum if you really wanted to. So it's really cool because they call this a deep cleansing tool and it's supposed to help minimize the appearance of pores. It is also supposed to help lift and firm your skin. I can't vouch for that yet. It's been, I've only used this for about two weeks now, but what I'm really impressed with is that how easily it breaks down the dirt. I do use Foreo. I have used a number of other different cleansing devices. So this is pretty awesome. This was sent to me complimentary from PMD Clean via the Octoly Network in exchange for a review, a review. and I'm quite impressed with it. So. It's silicone, it feels really super awesome, and again, you've got the separate modes. It says it has 7,000 vibrations per minute. Sonic Glow technology really ensures a super deep cleanse. I definitely agree with that. I've never counted the vibrations, so I can't vouch for the 7,000 vibrations. But this is really awesome. I really like this. So it's like a two-step. You cleanse, you, you rinse, and then you put it into the different mode and you can actually massage into your skin, your moisturizer, and any kind of a serums. And it's, I don't know if it's going to lift and tighten, but I'm enjoying the heck out of this. So I wanted to share that with you because I just think it's a great opportunity for anyone. If you catch this, I'll link all the information, of course, below. And I know it's pricey. I think when it comes to your skin, cleansing your skin, I used to think that, all right, get some soap, wash my face, take a face cloth, rinse it off. I used to think my face was clean. I never realized exactly how much buildup of the day's makeup, the day's environmental issues actually never really got removed. And I think that buildup over the course of time obviously clogs your pores, gives you breakouts. I never realized that it wasn't really cleaning my skin 
as good as I should until I really started to be more aware of skincare 2016 when I started to use skincare clean cleansing devices and I, I don't have a Clarisonic I have a Clarisonic dupe I have a Foreo I've loved my Foreo this is like one step above my Foreo right now because of the different options with using it so I think it's cool I know it was sent to me complimentary but I'm telling you I think it's cool just like my nail polish which uh, Sally Hansen obviously did not send to me but I just I just wanted to share that stuff with you because um, I'm actually impressed so I'm not sure when this video is going to go public but I'm going to add a little clip the other day Jay and I we were home it was it was just so touching because our town we didn't even know they were doing this they have an annual Christmas parade every year but this year there was no promotion of it because obviously social distancing and all that. Well, they apparently decided they were going to bring the parade to the residents and they, they lined up the parade and they went all over the place and we didn't even know they were coming. So I caught a little clip of that and I just was like, it just totally, totally touched me. But then at the end of this, I'm going to add a clip that one of my coworkers and they live on Lake Winnipesaukee, which is a beautiful lake in New Hampshire. Huge lake, very popular lake. Anyways, they happen to catch it. They live on the lake, and their backyard is the waterfront. But we had this really bad storm. Many of you probably heard the snowstorm. And they caught that snow coming down, looking out their backyard. You could see some of the docks. You could see the lights, and you could see some of the Christmas decorations. I just thought it was beautiful. I just thought it was beautiful so sharing that with you now so you can see it and um, hopefully I'll have this up before the holidays so that you can enjoy it but if not if I don't come to you again before the holidays I just want to wish you all a very very happy and safe holiday and thank you so much for all your continued support encouragement and love throughout the year mm -hmm.